Yo guys, what is up? How you guys doing today? So we have another unturned update for you guys, and that is 3.15.2.0. And in this update, there's a lot of additions, improvements, tweaks, and fixes. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, I have something in my hand, and what this is is a remote detonator. So with this remote detonator, you guys need a breaching charge, which for the ID of the detonator, it is 1240. And for the breaching charges, they are 1241. So let's go ahead and go in first person, take our little HUD thing off, and let's go ahead and walk inside. So whenever you have the detonator in hand, you can see all the C4 or not C4 anymore breaching charges that you have set down. And when you go in here, you guys can uh, actually, you know, see them all, of course. But um, when you go up to them and you right click, it actually activates the C4 as the designated um, C4 to explode which I keep saying C4 because it's basically C4, breaching charges, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Same thing, all, you know, yeah, just basically the same. And also, the original C4 was uh, actually remodeled into a sticky grenade, so if I just, like, you know, walk up to a building or something, and let's just throw this right here, it's, you know, just sticks to the wall. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, hopefully I can run away from this zombie. I'm not planning on dying right now. Come on, go back to your home. Get out of here. Nobody wants you here. Okay, so now that I threw that over there, let's go ahead and get over the other thing, which is a makeshift grenade. So this grenade is, of course, looks like it's made out of actually a can. I don't know the actual recipe yet. Looks like it's made out of a can and possibly some nails and explosives, but uh, looks pretty deadly. So let's go ahead and test it out on this zombie over here. Okay, maybe that was a little bit too far, but okay. Probably not the best to throw it against a zombie that's chasing you. But, um, yeah, hopefully you guys can hear the explosions. I have no idea if you guys can actually, you know, hear them. Because I'm trying out my uh, new Elgato, which I still haven't fully configured the sound for it, which is really, really confusing. So if you guys have any good, for t uh, good tutorials on that, on how to, you know, configure all the audio for it, that would be great anyways let's go ahead and get right into this so like i said we already have the remote detonator and you go up to it you right click and it basically sets all the c4 as the uh as the designated c4 to explode so let's go ahead and back up over here and we're gonna blow them up right now and when we blow them up we should see a pretty big explosion maybe all going off simultaneously or you know i don't know let's just see so let's go ahead and I don't know how far we need to back up. Let's go right here. Uh, oh my god. Okay, so that was about six explosions. Six explosions that came out of that. Oh my god, dude, it freaking threw the building in pieces. So that's that. Um, hopefully you guys could actually hear that because it's it's just, you know, nostalgic feeling whenever you hear that uh, explosion. But, uh, yeah, um, hopefully the multiplayer servers are updated by now, which are most likely a lot of them have been updated, so you guys will be able to use these in-game as well. Don't know the exact locations of them or how to build them, so you guys may have to go figure that out for yourselves. Like me, I'm still confused on how to build them exactly, I'm just spawning them in. But, uh, yeah, so that is about it for the additions. Alright, so now on with the improvements, and the improvements are improved hit markers to show where exactly the shots landed, improved several destructible objects break effects, uh, tree meshes and foliage shading, non-grass foliage to also blow in the wind, uh, player slash vehicle slash animal snapshots to use less bandwidth, vector 3 compression, accuracy, and large multiplayer maps. And for the tweaks, there is tweaked explosive crafting recipes and damage. Bow damage is in the line uh, with sharpshooter rifles. Density of berries bushes lower on PEI. Berries to be also more useful again. And uh, C4 name slash appearance to sticky grenade. Explosives name to raw explosives. And hay explosion to be more visible. Also for the fixes, there is fixed footsteps still playing if paused while walking, uh, fixed uh, tree collision to better represent visible mesh, case where trees showed as dead when they're actually alive, projectiles going through trees, uh, missing damage impacts when hitting tree stumps, gap in a roof on pirate cave on PEI, forcing self through wall with ladder which many people have actually made glitches on that. Um, there's, there was quite a lot of glitches um, 
to, you know, get through walls and everything, but, um, hopefully they're all patched by now. Don't totally know, but there's quite a few of them. Um, fixed an area spawning more than 64 zombies at a time. Fixed server crash, uh, when more than 70 actively networked vehicles. Uh, seeds not vulnerable to fists slash melee slash guns. Road showing pink when generating chart image. Fixed to cache map slash chart images when opening info tab. Misconfigured civilian zombies always dropping guns. And fixed drop position of metal from boulders. Anyways, guys, that was about it for the update. If you guys liked, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys.